Bardrick Bardison, you have now recovered from your embarrassment of face planting into the uh, <laughs> the plants on the side of the road. Um, from where you are right now, I think you could, with a full move, you could make your way in melee range of one of these one of these attackers. One of them. How many are close to me? If I like, if I were to move twenty five feet, does that mean that I've got more than one right next to me? Yeah, there's two right there who are both charging up with scimitars, and then there's three down at the bottom with uh, crossbows. Do the two that have scimitars, are, are, do both of them look like they haven't been hit yet? Yep, both of them are undamaged. Damn. <gasps> oh, shoot. Would I know if okay. that halfling speaks elvish? Uh, I would don't I know think that? you would at this point. Okay. You just probably assume I wouldn't, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, I need to look up the information, but I'm thinking I might want to, what's the, what's the range on Tasha's hideous laughter? That's the biggest oh, thing I need oh, to find God. out. No, not <laughs> Did you get that at level one? That's like a level six spell, oh, <laughs> or level God. three spell in 2.0. Oh, God, not Tasha's, oh, man. Page 280, first level enchantment, range is 30 feet. Wow. Oh my god. Cool. Cool. That might work then. That might work. Um, okay. Um, I can see um, Kellen, right? And he's mm -hmm. injured, right? Um, yeah. But he's the only one with a bow. Shoot. Does he still have... Do, can I tell if he still has vision of these two guys with the scimitars? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, he's okay cool. Does. So he's like on the on the ridge as well. Okay, good. And I'm like beyond it, right? I'm in front of the ridge. Yes. The little hill, right? And then, okay, they're coming up towards us. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So um, I think then what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'll use uh, Tasha's hideous laughter on them, mm -hmm. on those two guys. I'm not sure what the radius for it is, but let's. It's 30 do that. feet range, so. And then, does it affect more than one? I think it only affects. I was going to say it's a target, right? <clears throat> is it a target? Oh, I thought it was AOE. Shit. Okay, let's Tasha still City's cool. Laughter, um, a creature of your choice that you can see within range. And this is another concentration spell. It lasts up to one minute, so, okay. Okay, so I'll take one of them out at least. Um, if there is one that's closest to me, then I'll go for that one. Sure. Um, yeah, let's see. Does you don't have to make a roll. roll. Nope, okay. I have to make a roll. I make a wisdom saving throw against your saving throw difficulty class of 13. So, oh, my God. Oh man, this this, is, this oh, bandit crosses his fingers. What what does it look like when you cast Tasha's hideous laughter? I think I'm gonna start doing a little bit of this. Yeah. And uh, oh, what do I want to go with? I think that uh, might do it, right? Like just just this just might make someone break out a... laughing uh, <laughs> uncontrollably. <Yeah. laughs> it's something crazy like Zeke's just did. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just do a little bit of a silent, like, taunt and be like, thugs say what? Okay. Thugs say what? All right. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> this, this, uh, this bandit who's running with this scimitar, he just, like, checks himself immediately. He smirks, and then he just presses it. And then he charges on. Damn. He resists the spell. I should have dropped a heavier spell. Okay. Mm -hmm. A wrap. Okay. Isilla, you're still raging, but you ain't got much longer. Do I see what Bardrick just did? Yes. <laughs> Is there a way that we can see oh, like, God. positions? Oh, God. No. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, here. Uh, are you guys all on the same page I'm on? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay, draw so let's draw this out. Here's this road. Uh, let's say the top of the hill is kind of like um, hereish, dotted blue line, right? So then there is uh, text. There's Isilla, kind of hereish. There is um, Bardrick here. There's Kellen. Where? Oh, wait. And Silid. Oh, there we go. 
God, I was like, okay, hold on. Okay, that really helps, actually. Holy smokes. There and we then, go. And then there's, like, a whole bunch of dudes. Perfect. So. Um, it, has yeah. my turn officially ended yet at all? Or... Uh, so you just did an action. You can still move. You have, If you have a bonus action, you can take that. Okay. Um, let's do some bardic inspiration to uh, seal it. Okay. Wait, hold on. I get oh S R Wads. That's them. I guess that's the best. That's Swords. S R Wads. Good. Okay. S R Wads are coming. Three S R Wads. Oh no, Kellen. Kellen. Shit. Kellen. Uh oh god, he's really far. Is there a range on the Bardic Inspiration? Uh God, I don't know. Uh, Kellen's close enough. You can do it. Okay. Um, let's see. Listen to me now, natural 20 <laughs> round, and if you want them holla, then come on, crit them now. Get your fight on, get your fight on, get your fight on. Okay, so I, I throw that over to Kellen, and I'm just awesome. hoping that he does well, and then I'm just going to kind of back off a little bit, about maybe 10, 15 feet. I feel better! <laughs> <laughs> So, Bardrick, are you are you going back onto the road, Bardrick? Bardrick, Mrs. Bardrick, Shannon. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Bless. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back into actually into the grass if I can. Okay. So you can yeah. step back like five feet or so. I'm just gonna put yeah, you yeah like into the taller or... grass. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, sure. Okay, good. Uh, so, Kellen, you have a D6 you can use at any time in the next 10 minutes to add to your D20 rolls. So, Isilla. Any D20 so, rolls or just one? Uh, any one D20. You spend the dice when you, when you roll it. Got it. Cool. I just have a question quick, Stephen. Um, the Cure Wounds, that's a full action, right? Yes. Okay, good. It's a spell okay. cast. Uh, so, mark down, you've spent one spell slot. So, in that slot's expended, you can just put a one, right? Awesome. Isole, you're still Zeke raging. Demuted, unless you're not talking to us. <laughs> I guess you're good. Uh, so can we see the S, the, the senior yes. wads? Yes, you can. <laughs> These senior wads, you can see them. There's three of them? Uh, uh, two of them now. The hand axe that, that someone threw earlier took one out. Oh, it was, it was someone. Someone. <laughs> someone. <laughs> How far away are they from me? Like a round's worth? 20 feet. One yeah, full move I, will get you there. I, I fucking just, I run at whichever one's closest to me and make a, an attack with both my weapons. All right. Isla. So in order to roll for the second hand, the first one has to hit, or how does this work? So let me see this. So you get a bonus action. So you can make your second attack regardless. So go ahead and roll your first attack. Okay. 11, I'm going to add 6 to that for 17. Uh, roll the D6. Oh, okay. Oh. So I'm going to add six to that for 17. So you hit. So roll your damage on the first attack. Okay. And you get your plus two for raging. Yep. Remember that. Six damage. Fuck, that was just a shitty roll. Okay, six damage. Hey, every little bit counts, man, right? It's not the size. It's how you use it. Okay, now I need to look up the rules for dual wielding. So bear with me one second. Sure. Uh, D, U... I'm sure it's under duel. Uh, Two-weapon two fighting. Thank you, Zeke. You're welcome. Because I, I, I have that. Or I'm, I'm going to have that eventually, second level, whatever. Gotcha. 195. Actually, anybody can fight with two weapons, um, but two-weapon fighting gives you special bonuses for it. 195. Okay, <laughs> two-weapon fighting. When you take the attack action and attack with a light melee weapon, including long swords. Uh, that you're holding in one hand, you can use a bonus action to attack with a different light melee weapon, such as hand axes, that you're holding in the other hand. You don't add your ability modifier to the damage of the bonus attack unless that modifier is negative. So, go ahead, make a full attack with your hand axe, and then roll straight flat damage dice. Okay, so it still gets the plus four from proficiency and all that, but I just don't roll extra, extra damage? Exactly. Eleven? Oh, what is with me? That is not a hit, unfortunately. Your hand axe just sort of whiffs. Okay. 
That's Have you used your inspiration yet? I did. I yeah, used he it used it on the last yeah, one. Yeah, right, right. I, I did you a disservice, JP. Um, Silly kind of yells out, I'll give you lessons later. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So <laughs> long... JP, a longsword is not a light weapon, so you might want to replace that with a scimitar, which is 1d6 damage. Okay. And then you're you're able to do two attacks per turn. Gotcha. I'll change it. So we'll just retcon that. Okay, cool. Is that plus four plus your your proficiency and your strength or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I have plus two strength and plus two proficiency. Got it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I just want to make sure we're adding them all up. <laughs> Kellen, yes. go for it. Okay, so um, this is, uh, I'm looking at the situation here. Uh, Scylla, there's one down, so there's two guys left up. Two swords left up, three crossbows left up. And okay. you're inspired. And I'm inspired, yes. I have a 1d6 added to a, to a 20 roll. And so, um, let me see here. And the, are, Okay, I'm going to look over at Scylla. Are these guys focused on him? Okay, okay, because he's big and mean and they, you know, covered in blood. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to think of a way. Uh, okay, first first things first. I'm going to back oh, back over the, the hill so those guys, the guys with the, at the bottom of the crossbows can't shoot me again. Okay, cool. Okay, back in that way. And then um, I'm going to uh, uh, pop a shot uh, to the side of... To the guy on on uh, Scylla's right. Sure. Uh, shooting into melee, or actually, no, you have a clear shot, so you're fine. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Okay, and we're gonna do the. Um... Oh, okay. Now the inspiration is any time during this battle, or what? It's for the next ten minutes. You ten can minutes. roll a d6 and add it, but you can roll the d20 first and then decide. Oh, cool. Okay, so I'm attacking. I'll just roll the d20 first. Here we go. Yep. Um. Uh, whoops. I'll I'll try, buddy. Oops. Are you you're shooting an arrow, right? Yes. Okay. One D twenty plus three for my ability. Do it! Oh. Nine. Ooh. You wanna roll that D six? Uh yes I do. Bust okay. a crap in his ass. Roll well. Yeah. <laughs> hey. There we go. That's a fourteen. 14. Your arrow strikes home. Excellent. That's a 1d8 plus 3. 5 plus... Oh, oh yeah, 7 damage. Okay, um, <laughs> you hit the same one that uh, Isilla hit, and you take him down with an arrow to the head. Uh, straight through the temple. Two, he just collapses sideways in the if road. If I can, I like, I, like, move my head so that the blood splatter hits my face. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It sprays all over and your face. And then, like, turn creepily to Whoa. the neck, or to the guy next to me, and I'm just like, you're next, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna look back at, at Scylid. Look back at Scylid and go. <laughs> yeah. And I give, okay. I give an approving thumbs up and smile. With okay, the little, that little piece of intestine then falls off my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, Isilla, this this bandit just oh. swings his scimitar straight down in your direction. Okay. Um, fifteen. Oh, what's, your, what's your AC? Okay, so he hits you. Yep. Thanks for the acknowledgement, Stephen. You're welcome. <laughs> he deals you two damage. So like. Uh, it's it's more like uh, he he swings at you. You like block with your axe. He swings again. You like block with your. Um... Actually, Stephen, it's more like he attacks me, and I just let it hit me. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And and if so, I take like the the back end of the axe and like pull down on his sword, so it actually goes like a little bit deeper. <laughs> ah. Okay. Cool. He he is totally freaked out. He just turns tail and runs. You get an attack of opportunity because he's not moving away carefully. Great. Wow. Eight. That is not a hit. So he, he, he moves turns around and just like <laughs> <laughs> nothing fucking happens. Just miss completely. Okay, so uh, three crossbowers take aim at you, Isilla. Okay. <laughs> oh okay, my god. Okay, so two of them hit. Uh, hold on. First kill so, of the day. You have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. What does Holy that mean? Holy shit, dude. Are you joking? That means you take half damage. Give me that shit. <laughs> so I took one damage before then, right? Yes. Okay. Please, these arrows are just making him mad. 
Yep, pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah, let me look at exactly what the damage they deal is. Yep, perfect. Okay, so here's the first one. Here's the second one. Uh, what are we so doing? So you take one point of damage down? the first time, and you three points of damage the second time. Okay. So these arrows okay. just, they just stick in you, and you're just like, ah, 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 ah. Yep. Yep. Uh, so what is your total HP? 14. Gangster. Whoa, so I'm okay. at 10. Yep. No, you should be at 9 at least, right? So you lost, you lost oh. 1, and then oh, you okay. lost Oh, okay, so I'm at minus 5, one. yeah, so 9, yeah. 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 Yes, Silid. Let's go. All right. You... So I've got a bloody Asylid slightly in front of me with two arrows coming out of him. Yep. Aldrich's off to the left here. Um, and Kellen's off to the right. Um, how far away is the closest enemy? Uh, the closest enemy is just over the ridge. He's the swordsman. He's probably like 40 feet away. 40. So I could mm -hmm. not charge him and attack him. No, you could not. Uh, am I still 10 feet from the ridge of the hill? Yes. And what is the range of my hand axes? Uh, like 30? So 30 I would be slash at, 120, at like literally that. max range if I were to attack from the top of the hill. Uh, yes. But okay. that's that's still totally like fine, right? Okay. Like you don't get any penalty for that. Okay. Um, I run to the top of the hill and throw an axe at the closest guy. Okay, you're throwing an axe at this one remaining swordsman. If Roll I, your attack. If I were to run closer, that wouldn't increase my chances of hitting him, right? Okay, so yeah, I'll just run to the top. Okay. <sighs> Whew, back to the bad rolls. Okay. Okay, so that's plus four for a ten, so uh, unfortunately you miss. Bardrick, what's the hacks? Okay. So I just saw Isila do all that crazy hardcore gangster stuff, yeah. um, and I'm feeling pretty bad about Kellen right now. I kind of want him to get back in the fight and also be a badass because he was mm -hmm. really nice to me. Let him let me ride on his horse. Not Truth. a euphemism. Um, so I'm going to heal Kellen, I guess, and get him back into the oh, fray. Okay. You're casting a cure wounds. Yeah. Let's see what that takes. Um, it might be a touch spell. Let me just mm. take a look. Am I within 24 feet of him? I could dash if it's needed. Cure wounds. A creature you touch regains a number of hit points equal to 1d8 plus your spellcasting ability modifier. So since you're off in the brush, it's going to take you 10 feet of movement just to reach the road, and then another 10 feet to cross it. Um, you know what? Yeah, I think you can reach him. If with okay, full sweet. So I just like get up and I run across the road fast as mm -hmm. my little feet will carry me, and then I like grab onto his little uh, on, onto his big calf, I guess, mm -hmm. and I say, "I ain't saying I'm a good healer, but you ain't dealing with no low rolls. I ain't saying I'm a good healer, but you ain't dealing with no low rolls. <laughs> get well now, go ahead, get well, get well now, go ahead, get well." <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Go ahead you know, so against good. against my my better oh. uh, judgment, you. you see like a sailor's ass just kind of like shaking to the, <laughs> the right in the center of the battlefield <laughs> as this occurs. Roll one d eight plus uh, four. Jesus. Uh, please be a good roll. Well, he's only how much HP are you missing, Kellen? Oh yeah, you're good. Kellen, you regain 10 hit points. Thank you. Isilla, there's a guy uh, who ran away from you. He's 30 feet that, away. Okay, before that happens. Yeah. That was a spell, right? Yes. Okay, so, so while, while that happens, I'm seeing, I, I'm like, I just killed a guy, and I see this halfling sitting. <laughs> she, she's sitting. like going like this to you. And, and, like, and I'm like. And like rapping at me. Yeah, and, then I suddenly, and then I suddenly feel better. Yes. Um, I'm going to have to think about how confusing that is for me. <laughs> Do you just, like, skip your turn deep in thought? Just like... It's like just, yeah. Huh. It's just spaced out. <sighs> okay. Okay. All right, All right so Isilla. Your turn. You just saw this guy go running away from you. He's terrified. Uh, There's three crossbowmen down at the bottom of the hill. About 70 feet away. Can I... 
Can I just oh, throw gonna... my javelin at him? Yeah, I mean, you could you could actually run up to him and then make two attacks at him. Oh, let's do that. Well, that's going to put me close. I, I'm going to get... If I throw my javelin, is there a way that I will be out of or I can duck? Fuck, I'm berserked. All right, I'm just running at him. <laughs> Talk to myself into it. Uh, 11. God, what is with me in fucking 11s? Man, those sevens, dude. You got that. Just take him to Vegas, man. I'm... Roll that second attack for you, boo. 16. All right, 16. Cool. That hits. So you get your hand axe. But it's cleaving not with. Do I get the, the bonus of being berserk on that? Because I know I don't yeah. get the bonus. Yeah, yeah. You get your berserk bonus, but you don't get your strength bonus. Okay. Four. Okay. So uh, you just start, like, cutting at his heels as he's running away. And if I can, I, I know that these. For my, I guess, second action. Can I make another action? A, a minor action? Uh, no. If There's this no guy's in front action. of... So I couldn't... What I want to do is try to grab this guy and use him to shield him. I can't do that? Nope. You're behind him, though, so you actually have cover. Okay. You have partial cover. All right. Good. All right, Kellen, your turn. Are you just, like, staring into space, amazed no, at the glory? No, 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 no. No, I just... I just it's it's more one of, more one of these, like... Turn and look. Rap, rap, rap. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm in the middle of battle. That won't stop me. It's just, what? Okay. Thank you. Go. And and then um, the, the guys are running away, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. So uh, there's still guys at the bottom. Um, yep. Okay. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to head up and um, start shooting at the first uh, crossbowman I see. Okay. Cool. Okay. And that's I can do that with I got plenty of room. Yep, you can move up and then you can shoot. Excellent. I haven't been adding my proficiency bonus to my rolls either. That's another two that I'm missing every time I roll. So yep. it's a plus Definitely five, do that. Uh, plus five for my bow. Okay, so here we go. Uh, rolling the D twenty for the There we go. Plus five, jerk. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, oh there it is. Man. That's, oh. that's what? beautiful. Beautiful what? shot. All right, roll your damage. Excellent. And that is 1d8 plus 3. Okay, five. Five mm. But the, uh, the guy that w had one in his knee already. Yep, yep, yep. Probably. You, okay, you cool. drill one straight through his eye and he dies. <laughs> dies with a gurgle. Okay, bandits That's time. The, uh, the two bandits down at the bottom of the hill with their crossbows, they pull out daggers and they cut the horses free of the uh, of the the wagon and both of them hop on and they just turn tail and fucking gallop away uh the one with the sword he goes running after them another like 60 feet Can and I he's make just it a saying a opportunity on him type of opportunity yeah absolutely okay. uh, fucking what the fuck Ooh. man oh okay man. in your fury you just whiff straight whiff i'm, I'm not um, even gonna roll my second one these crossbow guys they go riding down away from you. Uh, w one of the crossbow guys still alive is Anod, the guy who was beating on the guy on the ground, so just so you know. Okay. Um, Steven, can you put me where Kellen is on the map so I can remember that ah, I'm on yes. this side? Thank you. Uh, and you healed me for, for 10? Yeah. yeah. 10. I'm all the way back up, baby, feeling right. What, what? What, what? That was a hell Team of a Teamwork, yo. So crossbows are like 80 feet away, swords are like 60 feet away. You guys have totally chased them off. There's this cart with this chest sitting in the middle of the road. Um, Silid, you're next. What do you do, buddy? So what, what enemies do we still have? Like, they've basically broken. They've, they've, you've chased them off. They are running for their lives. And the closest That's one is gangster. 60 feet away? Yes. Because he just double moved, he just ran. And none of none of the remaining people are incapacitated, correct? Everyone that's still around is dead. Correct. Can I move thirty feet forward and throw my axe at one of their legs? Uh, yeah. Let me do that, so okay. I can fail that roll and miss horribly. The one on Asilla still alive, right? Uh, no, the one by Asilla is running away. It's still alive, but he's sixty feet. Down. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is the guy? Okay, is the is the one Ezekiel shot the one that's running? So he's like injured. No, uh, there there are no. Oh wait, there there is an. Okay, so there's there's two crossbowmen. They're both yep. at full health. Yep. There's one swordsman, 
He has taken four damage. So the swordsman is the one that's running after the crossbowmen, and the crossbowmen are on horses running away. Yes. So he is the one at 60. Now, is he, yes. is he any slower because he's injured? Oh, yeah, well, no, but, but he's slower because he's not on a horse. Okay. So let, let me do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get as close to him as I can, and I'm going to okay. throw my axe, but I'm specifically aiming to incapacitate, not to kill. Okay, go ahead. Even though he's already injured. But... Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Roll your attack. Thirteen is a hit. Booyah! Uh, and then you get like a plus four for that, right? So that's yes. a seventeen actually. When you're rolling dice, you can actually type, you know, plus four. Okay, oh, just end, add it. It'll, like plus four. it'll add yeah. it yeah, yeah, yeah. automatically. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so that's and a hit. You can... Your your hand axe hits him. How much damage do you deal? And again, this can be just like your hand axe like clonks him on the head and potentially knocks him out. Let's find out. Okay, so. That should actually be 1d6 plus 2 for your strength, so you did 4 damage. 4 total. Um, so, actually, it's not enough to knock him out, but you hit him on the head with this hand axe. Um, Bardrick, do you want to try doing anything to this guy? Uh, yeah. How close am I? Uh, this guy is 60 feet away from you. Um, am I... I don't know how far I get with a dash... Um, a dash is an action, so you cannot both attack and dash. Oh, shit. Um, you could try using, like, Tasha's hideous laughter on him again. Or, no, oh, no, I, you, you spent I, your second spells. slot. Yep. yep. I'm a bit useless. I could throw my dagger. I could try that. So can I do, like, a full move um, 25 feet? And then how far am I able to throw my dagger? Am I able to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can another... throw it up to 60 feet away. And um, so you're going to throw it at disadvantage because it's beyond 20 feet, which is like the close range of the dagger. But That's you can okay. still do it. And if you use your inspiration, you can negate the disadvantage. Oh, feeling the pain, dog. And then I give myself inspiration. I'm like, awesome. I dust, I dust the, the scrubs off and then, yeah, full inspiration. <laughs> Go okay. ahead and roll 1d20 plus your attack roll. Oh, what's my attack? Do, do it, do it, do it. It's plus six. I don't know what that is. Plus six. Okay. Thanks for knowing everything so quick. Okay. I got your character sheets up. I'm cheating. Yeah, I'm like tapping between shit. Okay. Uh, roll d20 plus six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you hit him. So that's 1d4 flat, plus flat. four. Roll it up. 1d4 uh, plus four? What? Is it really so plus four? It's Sweet. plus four because your dexterity is plus four. You're ridiculous. Bardrick Bardson is MVP. Oh, oh, and he didn't. It's not. It's not like a lethal. I didn't want lethal damage. I just want to. Yep, wanna... yep. You just like threw this dagger and it hit him on the back of the head. Clunk. And he went. He made like a stupid face. His like cheeks flew out. Like, he like spittle flew everywhere, and he just like face planted into the ground. Teeth like, going out. Like and feet that's... arcing up over the head as he just like slides forwards a couple feet and then like collapses to the side. And that's this a swordsman, right? This yeah, that's the last swordsman. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, let's take a couple minute break. And then oh. when we come back, you'll see what's in the, the, uh, the cart with these guys. Sounds good. Just uh, one quick thing before we go. Yep. Yeah. Um, I, I have a, I mean, a pretty long range on the, the bow, the long bow. Wondering if I could sneak one more of them as they're going. I have 150 feet on the longbow, Ooh. 600 for long range. Oh. Anything up to 600 long range, anything up to 150 is is good. Kellen, go in longbow. Uh, yes, they are within 150 feet. You can try to kill one of them. I'm gonna try and sneak one off the horse. Okay. Here are we go. Are you going to kill or incapacitate? Well, that you, you already incapacitated one of them, right? Yep. We only need one. We know there's two groups though, because they were fighting. We know there's two groups. Remember when we got here, there were two groups fighting? Remember one was knocking the other out? I, Maybe I doubt an arrow. One of my arrows is going to kill anybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we'll, see. we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. 18. That's a hit. Sweet. Um, okay, and then 1d8 plus 3. Oh, okay. Four damage. So Kelly knocks him off his horse. Sights into the sky, loses an arrow, it flies straight and true. Um, <laughs> it actually ends up like going through the cloth right next to his, like, chest, 
So it doesn't look like it actually like did any physical damage. He's clearly pretty rattled. The horse kind of spooks and like jogs to the side a little bit, and he continues riding off into the distance. And that's where we'll take our break. Cool. cool. All right. We'll see you guys in uh, three to five minutes. Quick break, then we'll jump back into the action right after this. Thanks for watching.